All right, so we got, um, we've got our nut trees that we want to plant down here in the lower pasture. We've got two hazelnuts and a pecan tree. I've forgotten what it is. Pecan tree El Elliot, maybe? I'm not sure. I have to look that up. And then we've got a Pawnee pecan, which is, uh, it won't bear fruit until um, it's a long time, like seven or 10 years. It's on back order. So we're going to um, hopefully get that in the early spring, we hope. All right. This is our Elliot pecan. This is gonna be a very big tree one day. So this guy right here is about probably almost five feet tall. He's gonna be 70 to 100 feet tall. And then um, as far as the width, he's gonna be about 60 to 70 feet in diameter. So we're calculating it's gonna stop just maybe about About, um, say about eight or ten feet from the creek here. And that should eventually create a lot of shade for, um, for our sheep and horses. That's going to be quite a long time from now. Now we will have to, once we start running sheep and horses out here, we're going to need to put some sort of, uh, like a little box fence around it to protect it because it's going to be a few years before this little pecan tree has really anything to give back to the farm whether it's shade or fruit the fruit being the nuts obviously but we're going to do our best shot to set them up for success here Beautiful October day here. It's still a little heat, hot here in East Tennessee. The leaves are starting to turn and the nights are cool. Grow a little pecan tree, grow. Pretty good, it's pretty straight. Right this is our hazelnut going in. This is the, is this the Jefferson? This is the Theta. Theta. Theta Filbert. Yes. And then the other one waiting for some attention, that's the Jefferson. Not little Watson. Just beyond there. <laughs> 